All right, thank you for joining us today for this quick webinar session on behalf of North Star Technology Group and Datto. My name is Lauren, and I'm a channel development manager with Datto, which basically means I'm, I'm sort of an evangelist for Datto, and I have the awesome opportunity and chance of traveling really the world, attending and presenting at tech conferences, business events, educational seminars, and when I'm there discussing what it is that's keeping people, business owners, up at night and how Datto, how we can help mitigate those risks. Now, a little bit about Datto. Datto is the world's largest MSP-centric business on the planet. Uh, and this means that we only sell through managed service experts like Northstar. We were founded in 2007 with a focus on disaster recovery and business continuity, which continues to be the backbone of our company alongside an additional host of solutions that we offer. Today we have 23 locations globally, nine data centers worldwide, and actually makes us one of the world's largest private cloud databases. But the most important number to us is that we support over 700,000 small to medium-sized businesses throughout the world. And, and that is you. That is you guys that are listening to me today. You're turning to companies like Northstar to make sure that your data is safe and that your business is secure. And in turn, Northstar is coming to Datto as one of the tools that they use to make sure their clients' networks and data are protected. So I'm going to take a few minutes today of your time to talk to you about how as a business, how you can best protect your company in our current crime, cyber crime landscape with cyber threats on the rise by the literal second and specifically ransomware. And you know, as we are dealing with this awful health pandemic, cyber crime organizations and, and threats, specifically ransomware threats, are glow, growing at an alarming rate. And you know, research shows, and, and as we know, ransomware is king and last year alone small and medium businesses lost over 75 billion dollars in revenue on ransomware attacks alone and this was due to the cost of the downtime and also the loss of data so when we look at the leverage that these cyber criminals have it, it's really twofold what they're doing is surprisingly they're not stealing your data for the most part they're encrypting it and what this allows them to do is cast a very large net. Now, they don't care if, if your data, as far as they're concerned, is actually valuable. They just know that regardless of your industry, regardless of the size of your business, they know that you can't operate without your data and that you're going to most likely pay to get it back because small and medium-sized businesses are more susceptible and they normally can't absorb the downtime cost. Uh, Experian recently did a, a survey and in a study that showed that 60% of small to medium sized businesses will close their door after experiencing a data breach. Now, these are numbers that were researched prior to our current pandemic, so I can only imagine the numbers today and moving forward towards 2021 will be much more staggering and it's scary. So, you know, the, the message here is if, if there's ever a time to double down on your security efforts and resources, now is the time. And when we look at today's threat led landscape, it's massive. Long gone are the days of young hackers writing code in their parents' basement just for bragging rights, and I'm aging myself with things like Napster. But today, ransomware brings in billions of dollars and soon to be trillions just from small and medium-sized businesses alone and that number is growing year to year exponentially and the business of cybercrime it, it's not unlike a typical startup business model in fact they embrace the business model approach um, they have integrated marketing campaigns with not just marketing employees but sometimes even marketing teams they perform risk and rewards analysis they have teams for research and development they even offered this past year black friday deals for criminals on the dark web. Uh, many of the organizations offer 24-7 phone support, and this isn't just for the hackers. This is also for the folks that actually have to pay once they get hacked. And, uh, you know, other companies, they'll offer a money-back guarantee for their co-hackers that are purchasing their products. So as people across the globe are adjusting to remote work environments and using both business and personal equipment and network, cyber crime has surged and, and hackers are taking full advantage of the panic and the chaos and, and mostly the distractions. So for cyber criminals, business is 
booming. And since criminals are aware that most of us are using our personal computers, cell phone, Wi-Fi during this pandemic, COVID-19 in specific related threats are on a massive rise. So we are talking about criminal organizations with no moral code and hackers that will stop at nothing, not even a pandemic, to capitalize on an opportunity with the bulk of their efforts and nearly half focus on small to medium sized business. So when we look at protecting your business from cyber threat, there's two numbers that are extremely critical and two numbers that these criminal organizations are most concerned with and completely understand how to leverage against you. And those two numbers are RPO and RTO. So bear with me here. This is a little bit of acronym city, but it's worth it. So RPO is your recovery point objective and RTO is your recovery time objective. So now the first star on the left, right? of the screen. This, this is the easy one, RPO, recovery point objective. And, and very simply put, this means how much data are you at risk of losing at any given time? And how often are you taking in your backups, right? Are you taking your backups daily, every other day? Are you saying, hey, okay, I, I'm okay with losing a week's worth of data? And some companies are, right? While some companies, they need to back up their data every hour, we see many uh, that need to back up their data every 15 minutes. Every business is different, but the key here is you should be able to answer this question at a minimum. And most people are relatively comfortable with, with this question. You know, I mentioned I, I travel and do presentations throughout North America and, um, you know, I, I, I tend to get a good sense of where business is at. And, you know, from, from what we find, people are pretty comfortable with this question and they often know how often they're backing up their data, but there's a caveat, there's a caveat, and the caveat to this is, are you testing your backups? And if you're not testing your backups, then you really can't answer this first question, right? That star might have the goal of being hourly, but then you go into recovery mode only to find that your backups have been failing for the last three weeks, and all of a sudden, that star jumps from one hour to three weeks. So, but but for most folks, people are comfortable with this part, right? Okay, so that's the first piece of leverage. They, they've got your data. Uh, you know, if, if you've got no backup, then you've got no recourse other than to pay to regain your data, right? And criminals know, but but they know that most of the business community is backing up their data. So so as far as paying ransom goes, that that's not the reason that people are paying. Here's why people are paying ransom, right? It's on the right-hand side of the screen, that star right underneath the other acronym, RPO, Recovery Time Objective. This is why people are paying the ransom. So, okay, you're backing up your data, but how much time will it take for you to pull all of that data back and put it into a new machine and then get it back up to a production environment? Most folks can't answer that, right? Would it be two days? Would it be two weeks longer? Most people have never even done a test like this, so, so they don't know. And criminals know this, and they will put you in a position to say, okay, pay me $5,000 in Bitcoin ransom, or your only other option, go ahead, restore your data, call me back in a week. And the cost of downtime for that company will far exceed the $5,000 ransom request. In fact, um, that downtime will cost 23 times more. It's, we've done tons of studies on this and there's research. Uh, it will cost 23 times more than the initial ransom request. And that's why people pay. But here's the thing. Even if you pay that ransom, you aren't guaranteed that the criminal won't target your company again. And, and it, there's no guarantee they'll actually release the data after you pay, right? Again, these are criminals at the end of the day. So now I tell the story of the city of Atlanta and you may have heard of this, but I tell the story because th the numbers are public and, and we know the numbers and it's not a guessing game, right? Um, about a year and a half ago, Atlanta was hit with ransomware. A simple phishing attack, someone you know click the bait and immediately all of their information, all of their systems were completely encrypted and frozen. They could not log on to a single computer. Uh, they could not do anything uh, with any of the systems that they have. Now, the initial ransom request, it was 
relatively speaking, right, this is the city of Atlanta we're talking about, relatively small. It was only $52,000 at the time. But the city of Atlanta emphatically would not pay this ransom. They, they never did. Uh, so, you know, they wanted to get back up and running. And what happened was, is about two months later, they had to go back to the city and they had to request $2.7 million. Now, this cost wasn't for the ransom. Again, they never paid the ransom cost from this hack. What this cost was, this was the cost of downtime. This was the cost of overtime for new employees, overtime for current employees, for bringing systems back up and running at an alarming speed, bringing in resources at an alarming speed, paying you know, all this additional cost that they would not have had to pay had they had a good business continuity plan. Well, doesn't end here, right? A few months later, they're, they're still down and they're still trying to get back up and running. Everything's manual. They have to go back to the city and they have to request another $9.5 million, right? So in total, in total, the taxpayers, the city of Atlanta had to dish out $12.2 million for a $52,000 ransom request a year and a half ago. Uh, the other crazy thing about this is they lost seven years of police dash cam video just because they didn't have a proper backup system. And to put all this into perspective, their annual IT budget that year was $35 million. So they're roughly 33% of that just trying to get back on their feet and again never paying that ransom and I watched a 60 minute report on this they they likely endured costs much higher than this but one thing that the report talked about was that they had had someone independently come out and look at their system and they told them you do not have a business continuity plan and you need to get one and they, they didn't they, they didn't you know put the funds towards that and here's what happened right so with business continuity and, and with backup, we want to stop thinking about traditional backup and we want to start thinking continuity. And, and, and what does that mean, right? Well, I, for me, it's typically easier to explain what continuity is not. Um, and, and I'll go through this really quickly. And a few things that business continuity is not. First, it's, it's not cloud only, right? So, you know, oftentimes we'll talk to business owners and, and they'll say, my data is fine. It's stored to the cloud. And, what they may not realize is that their information is most likely a being stored to a public cloud um, and b most times is being stored to just one database so if that database goes down they lose their information for good recently the city of san francisco was backing up their data to the cloud and uh, it, it went down and for two days their data went down for two days and it cost them 3.3 million dollars again they did not lose data their data was being backed up to the cloud but it took those two days to simply get their data and then restore it to the production environment and just to do that in those two days cost them 3.3 million dollars you also don't want local only right many businesses are still backing up their data on site which is great but but not but they're only backing up on site. And you know, the other crazy part here is an alarming number of businesses are still using tape backups. And guys, fun fact for you here, the technology for tape back backups came out in 1951. So we wanna get past this, but you wanna be backing up both, both on the cloud and locally, not either and not or. Uh, business continuity, it's also not file-based backup, meaning only backing up certain files and certain bits and pieces of your network and also you don't want to be manually testing your backup process, right? It's extremely common for business not to have an automated testing process for whatever their backup is. And, you know, when you leave it up to humans to test something and, and you know, have, have a process, we're going, we're going to fail. We're, humans are the greatest, we are the greatest risk when it comes to ransomware and backup. So, you know, not having an automated process and having something manual leaves a ton of room for error. So, all right, what is business continuity? Well, business continuity, it's hybrid, right? You want a hybrid cloud-based backup, it, you know, and, and what does this mean? Well, this is just a fancy way of saying at all times at, at Datto, we have multiple copies of your data safely living both on-site 
an offsite. For example, uh, with the data solution, you not only have your information stored privately in our cloud database, but in two of our cloud database. So at all times, there are multiple secure copies of your data being stored. You want to make sure that your data is image-based, that your backup is image-based. And, and again, what this means is that when we back things up for you, we are backing up your entire network. So from your most important documents, applications, operating system, your PL, down to your screensaver or even your kids' photos, all of this information is being backed up. You want to make sure that your process is automated. Business continuity is automated. It's fully automated so that the technology, you can strictly set it and forget it, right? It's a good old marketing cliche, but you want to make sure that it's automated in that way. And you can back up, like I mentioned, as quickly as every five minutes. Some businesses, they're okay backing up every hour and some every other day. And we'll also send you confirmations of your backups, but you want to make sure your process is automated. And business continuity, another thing that it offers is ransomware detection. And with our technology, we can detect when a backup is not healthy. And then what we'll do is we'll take your environment back to its last healthy and ransomware free backup. And this is crucial because Ransomware can sometimes secretly live in a company's network for weeks, months, and we've even seen it for years at a time, sitting and collecting data unknowingly at the company. So with our ransomware detection, we can help negate that uh, and take you back to a time where you had that healthy backup. And, and here's the rub, and, and you know here's where the Datto and our proprietary software is key instant virtualization and you know so so what does this mean what is instant virtualization well virtualization general refers to the process of creating a virtual version of something right whether it's a server storage device network or application the virtual version acts completely separate from the physical device so with Datto's virtual instant virtualization you can virtualize your computer systems either on the Datto appliance or in the Datto secure cloud within seconds, literal seconds. And this enables your business to continue immediately rather than waiting for a replacement server or part. And this means if something happens to your server, your employees will be able to continue to work as usual and then Northstar will be able to fix your server issues without you incurring any downtime or losing any data. So literally with instant virtualization, everything is up and running again in a matter of seconds from a virtual instance. So now we've done a lot of studies to figure out what the cost of downtime is. And we, we do know that the average cost of downtime in 2019 for small medium businesses alone was 141,000, which is up 200% from 2018, which is just insane. But you know, it's really difficult to put a number on each individual business without doing an individual assessment. So, which is, you know, something that MSPs like Northstar do, but it's critical that you understand both of these questions and understand the cost of your downtime. And so we, we do have a calculator. Northstar can uh, hook you up with this. They can run you through this process in as quick as 10, 15 minutes. So you can see exactly what the cost time of down, what the cost of your downtime would be um, and help you understand that. And, you know, wrapping all of this up, that takes us back to RPO and RTO, right? Covering both and essentially taking out both of the legs of the bad guys and, and helping to keep your business safe. So at the very least, I recommend connecting with Northstar. Ken and his team can set you up with an assessment or they can answer any questions that you have about the data tools and, you know, uh, the, the processes and, and really, you know, the software that sets us apart. So best of luck, stay healthy. Thank you for the time and uh, take care.